No intro today. This is a very serious topic, and as such, I want to start off this video by saying you are loved, you are valued. If you are having suicidal ideations and thoughts, please use the resources linked below or on screen. I wanted to make this video as someone who has suffered in the past from suicidal ideations and thoughts, and someone who has severe PTSD, trauma, anxiety, depression from events in my past. I'm coming at this from an angle of someone who appreciates the use of these topics to convey a gripping narrative between brothers. It's a very heart-wrenching narrative that deserves to be talked about more than it already is. This tale starts out when Ren was born of the god of demons, the god of concepts, the god of everything, Satan and a human girl named Yuri. In an event called the Blue Knight, Ren born with Satan's power goes ballistic. A demon without equal, he slaughters a bunch of people within seconds of being born. This explosive birth indirectly causes his mother to die as they both escape asylum. I would also like to note, Ren as a child, like as a newborn, was even trying to protect his brother Yukio. Shiro Fujimoto, Ren's adoptive father, held Ren's mother and the love of his life as she died. Her final words will forever haunt both Shiro and Rin. Time progresses, moving onwards. Rin was a hassle to raise. His demonic heritage always, always, always making him the outcast, no matter the situation. He was always the freak, the loser, and the violent monster, the demon. Even between him and Yukio, Rin was the undependable twin and the one with freakish strength. Rin suffered from severe depression, PTSD, anxiety, and social separation issues. He hated himself for his strength and inadequacies that he thought he had. This self-hatred caused an event that would thoroughly break Rin. Rin, after just finding out he was a demon and being ushered out of the church by Shiro to try to get him to safety with Mephisto, Rin had told Shiro he would never be his father, that Shiro never loved him and thought of him as a nuisance that he just wanted to get rid of. This caused a crack in Shiro's mind allowing Satan to take over. Shiro to protect Rin killed himself, leaving Rin to face his future his brother and the exorcist society as a whole by himself. Yukio, blaming this all on Rin, inadvertently caused Rin's spiral into self-hatred and selflessness. That almost led to his demise on several occasions. This character trait is fundamental to Rin's growth as a protagonist and a character. It's a massive juxtaposition to his brother's own mental health issues. Throughout the continuous narrative of Blue Exorcist, Yukio was shown to be a mess. When he thought he was infected by Satan's power, he lost himself. He hurt his friends, shot Mephisto, shot his brother, attempted suicide several times. We see him at his lowest point jump off a several-story building, getting saved by Satan's power in the nick of time. We see him put a gun to his head and shoot, getting saved by Satan once again. We see him one last time put a gun to his head, calling himself and Satan a monster. Yukio did this because he was jealous of Ren's power. At least that's what he told himself. He secretly was mad at his own inability, his own selfish drives and desires. This all climaxes at the start of an arc that we are currently in called Of One Cloth. Ren and Yukio fight, allowing them to say what they needed, to heal each other and help each other, to mend their lives and their broken relationship. We see Kazu take this time to delve into their psyche. Ren, for example, realized his selflessness was a way to cope. It was a crutch to deal with the fact he always felt like he shouldn't have existed. The fact he felt useless. That he feels like he doesn't have the right to exist or feel love. Yukio points out he always takes everything headfirst by himself. His safety be damned. We saw several times throughout the franchise, whether that be running headfirst, trying to save Izumo, fighting the Impure King, fighting Hachitoro, etc. Yukio as well faces same internal criticism for how he treated everyone, how he never gave his brother a chance to help. Same with his friends and colleagues, and their sister, Shira. He realized his need for strength was a facade to deal with the trauma he endured, feeling like the lesser brother. He wanted to solve everything on his own. He wanted to feel like he was powerful compared to his brother. Throughout this fight, Yukio breaks down, questioning his right to exist, if what he has done is unforgivable or forgivable. Ren tells him he can't forgive himself and the others will forgive him. Yukio, unable to stand the thought of living with his own guilt and self-loathing, asks, Can I really keep living like this? Ren's response to this sent chills down my spine. It shows how far he has come as a character, how much he has battled to define his existence and worth. Yes, that's what I want you to do. If I'm strong, it's because I had you. 